Item number SCP-ES-045 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-ES-045 must be kept inside a safety box in a room at site. Access to the object for experimentation purposes require the approval of two Level 2 personnel. Once said room is opened, at least two security guards with standard weaponry will be present with the investigators while they experiment with SCP-ES-045. While SCP-ES-045 is not stored in a safety cell, there must be present at all times at least three people during its transportation as well as at the experimentation area. SCP-ES-045 is a 45 cm tall doll in a quite deteriorated state, made from porcelain and of human origin. Its clothing, which was initially white, shows various degraded crimson-red stains in several areas across it. See notes about recovery. SCP-ES-045 manifests its effects when it stays alone with one or two people in the same room. These subjects will experience extreme rigidity, losing the ability to move besides showing inability to communicate orally with other subjects. Once this has occurred, SCP-ES-045 will animate and proceed to get close to the paralyzed subjects and… If a third subject appeared during said attack, SCP-ES-045 will proceed to before ending up completely immobile on the floor. Affected subjects tend to develop autonomophobia and or pediophobia. Therefore, psychiatry personnel of the Foundation will counsel the survivors of the aforementioned encounters. The survivors claim to be sentient while the attacks lasted. Addendum 045-1 Attached Document Paper note found at SCP-ES-045's recovery site. Anna, I know you hate us today for what we did to your dolls, but it was seriously necessary. I hope one day you forgive us, but until they learn to behave as they should and apologize to Tommy, they won't return home. It's our promise. We'll get back home late. We love you, Mom and Dad. Addendum 045-2 Recovered note from the interior of the safety box which contains SCP-ES-045. It was written on a scroll made from… Skin. It is still being investigated how said note reached there despite the permanent vigilance of the site. My baby, are the bad men bothering you? Don't worry, as soon as Mom and Dad stop watching me, I will go there to pick you up, Anna. Notes about recovery. SCP-ES-045 was recovered in an abandoned house in the city of Argentina on 2000 after the disappearance of children from said locality, along with two agents from local police, was reported. To confirm the presence of a potential SCP, the Mobile Task Force Pi-1, aka City Cowboys, was sent to investigate, and during the recovery agents and lost their lives at the hands of SCP-ES-045, besides Agent ended up with psychological issues that are still being treated. Incident 045-1 On November 25, 2000, at OE Hunter local time, during a routine inspection, SCP-ES-045 vanished from the facilities along with Dr. Sp three of his assistants and two security guards during said event. A search of the SCP along with the missing personnel was started in the facilities as well as at nearby areas. At 1700 hours, SCP-ES-045 reappeared in its containment cell along with the bodies of Dr. two of his assistants and one of the guards. These corpses had their inner organs, eyes, and tongue removed, being replaced by a mix of plush, polymers that have yet to be identified, and their clothes have been replaced by baby clothes similar to those from SCP-ES-045. Along with the bodies, a note written with a still unidentified blue fluid was found in a piece of Dr. clothing. You're no longer my baby. You keep being as bad as always. Besides, now I have new toys. I don't want to see you here again or I'll tell Dad. Anna. An investigation is ongoing, besides the re-evaluation of the containment procedures.